This is to be entertained further. Could I maybe interject here? Um, the, there was a young man at a gas station on August 3rd, 2021, named Presley Easy, who was shot uh, execution style in the back of the head by a Las Cruces Police Department officer. And I believe that the assumption on that officer's part, and I can't speak on his, what his assumption was, but um, they treated him as if he was just another uh, young black thug. And um, it's quite the contrary because this young man was very well connected to the national NAACP, and that is part of the reason that this uh, investigation has taken us to um, the Department of Justice because of that particular case and who that young man was. He left a, a two-year-old son behind, and he was basically he was killed execution style, and so that is part of the problem that we are trying to deal with. We're not trying to violate any officer's rights. We are trying to keep the officers from violating uh, the citizens' rights and or taking their lives. If, if, if I might jump I in real quick. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, Dr. Green, thank you for that. But usually when I have public comment, and I know you're, you're saying that, I ask that no pending litigation issues be brought up. And if you could, please, I mean, you can say generalities, but I would, I would appreciate if you didn't because that's still in pending litigation. Thank you. And Absolutely. I did not bring up pending litigation. What I am working with is within our um, structures, within our charter and our process that we have here. Um, yes, you're off the um, microphone again. I think I'm on now. I just wanted to say that with regard, and I'll read the provision in the policy manual or whatever. And Article 3 within our charter. And I will read all of that, but from what you're saying, it sounds as if you're equating uh, being able to investigate something and make a recommendation to the city manager uh, or to I'm somebody saying... working under him with interference and that would kind of negate the possibility of any council, any commissions doing anything if, if advice were interfering. So I will read our, those though. Our advice back. with other boards isn't hiring and firing of city personnel. When we have the quality of life uh, department, I am not giving advice on who to hire and fire. I am not giving advice on who to hire and fire on utilities. I'm not giving advice on who to hire and fire on any of those other boards. This is an entirely new function, which therefore would address in a different way, which is why I'm bringing it up, because I think it has a crucial impact. Thank you. The other structure that I had is that is... I misspoken. If we gave you the idea that it was organized in that fashion, that it was a school or had a curriculum or any such thing. Rather, uh, there are controversies that come out um, and the public thinks, oh, that's terrible. And in some cases, and, you know, I know some of them myself firsthand, I'm not gonna get into it here. The officer was correct. Um, and had to do certain things. The public doesn't know that. Uh, there might be policies that the police department comes out with. Um, and I appreciate that with the curriculum, but even like what what is handed out, what it is given to the public as far as nurse, and you how mentioned would, how a few. How know that in advance? Well, that's why I'm asking if we're, we're going to put it in writing, then we probably should know what it is that we're asking to do. If we're gonna put it in an ordinance and then it becomes law, then I would like to know what I'm putting into law. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, you're you can feel that way, that's fine, thank you. Yeah. But it is a question that I have to ask before I make a decision up here on would, something like that. So thank you so much, sir. And Mayor, my time is up. 